Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am putting together another page in my April Travels Notebook using my Travelers Notebook exclusive stash kit. Um, last week's layout I went all out with color and this week I'm going to go a little bit of a different route. Um, this pack of die cuts that I put into this particular stash kit um, has these really gorgeous leaves. Um, you know I love them because there's pink ones in there as well. So so as much as I'm going to keep this kind of autumnal, I am adding a few little pink touches in there. It wouldn't be me if I didn't otherwise, because here in New Zealand, the seasons are starting to turn, the leaves are dropping. It's, it's I got to be honest, it's not my favorite time of year. It makes me a little bit sad. So I am going to make this as cheery and happy as I possibly can and try and use up as many of these leaf die cuts as I can. I am going to skip this kind of like little mapley leaf one. There's not a lot of maple leaves where I live, so I'm just going to go with these more kind of generic shapes. Uh, and you can see the basic kind of layout that I've got. So there's a photo on the left, and I'm going to use the die cut that says routines on the right and kind of just have the leaves tumbling down the page, tumbling across the spread as they sort of lie at the moment. Uh, but I did feel like it was kind of altogether a little bit too white. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a uh, pattern paper into the background. This is one of those kind of more neutral papers that I put in the kit for this very purpose. Um, you know, like it would have ruined the entire kind of vibe of this page if I added like that teal spot or the bright yellow uh, floral, you know, like this is why I wanted some of these more kind of plainer um, papers in this kit, just to give myself a little bit more option to work with color wise. So I'm just adhering all of this down to the page. So I've trimmed out that paper Again, these are like six by eight papers that I'm working with. And my notebook is uh, eight and a quarter inches tall and it's four and a quarter inches wide. So when I trim these down, I generally trim them to about four and an eighth. So that way the, um, the paper, I can line it up to the middle of my notebook and I've got about a one inch, uh, one eighth of an inch uh, sort of space around the outsides. So I've adhered down my photo pretty pretty securely. I've just used tape runner, but I do have enough of a room in there that I can kind of tuck the leaves in and around there. For these leaves though, I'm just using a little bit of smart glue from scrapbook.com and I'm go ahead, gonna go ahead and kind of place them back where they, well, roughly where they were. I didn't take a photo of any or anything before I pulled them all off the page, so. I am kind of eyeballing them as I go back. But one of the things that I'm making sure to do is I'm having some of those leaves kind of fall off the edge of the page. Now it sort of serves two purposes. It adds that extra sort of dimensional layer because that background paper is that little bit shorter. Uh, having those leaves overlap the pattern paper and the edge of the page just gives it a little bit more of a dynamic look. It does make the leaves look like they are falling across the page rather than being glued on. Now to add my journaling in here, I just went ahead and typed it onto some scrap paper, um, just some white scrap paper, and I have adhered that onto the page pretty much at the bottom uh, where I was going to tuck in this little routines. It's a little bit higher than it was and so I've just moved the word routine across the page a little bit. Again, much like the leaves, I'm going to trim off just the littlest piece from the outside of it so it does look like it's running off the edge of the page. And then I've got one more leaf shape to add in here. This one's a little bit of a brighter orange. Uh, it does balance out. The reason it's on that other page is because it's going to be by itself. So it can stand to be a little bit of a darker color. It doesn't stand out too much as different. And here's the other advantage with adding those leaves at the bottom of the page is some of the these pieces that I trim off are big enough that I can adhere them back down along the other edge and it looks like I have an extra leaf when I didn't have one before. Now that I've finished trimming all of those off, it, I mean the page is basically done. I want to add a little bit to the title uh, just to kind of well, add, again it serves two purposes. I want to add in some extra color so I'm using my 
favorite pink uh, they're bubblegum pink foam alphas from citrus twist so it gives me a little bit more of the pink look uh, and it's also just adding to the title of my page uh, routines probably would have done it but the fact that uh, my journaling is talking about like daily walks that I'm taking Lily on um, the daily just kind of helps to reinforce that without having to read all of that journaling now I'm just layering that up it goes over the die cut just a little bit but I kind of like how it tucks in the top there and it really does lead your eye down the page with the um, the pink leaves as well I decided that I would add a little bit more stamping and so I'm just going to use uh, my typewriter alpha here from Citrus Twist. I'm going to stamp directly on to my photo. I'm using some Brilliance Moonlight White ink and I wanted to put, uh, <laughs> here, here's, my, here's my mistake, I wanted to put changing leaves daily routines. That was kind of how it was going to read across the page. Um, but of course I wasn't really paying attention. So I got changing in there all right. And then I immediately spelt leaves, um, leaves wrong. I, I don't even know what word I was going to spell. I just was not paying attention at all really. Uh, and so I didn't know what to do. I thought I could uh, maybe replace the photo and then sort of pull everything up and turn it back again. But um in the end, the easiest solution was just to ignore the word leaves. It's just going to stamp out changing. I'm adding a couple of little tiny word stickers or tiny phrase stickers here. And I got to say, I'm really glad I did. It kind of just adds like an extra embellishment onto the page because otherwise really all I've got is those leaves. Um, so this just gives me another little embellishment on here. It's a little bit more pop of pink. Uh, I get to tie in both sides of the page because I could add two on the left and one on the right underneath my journaling. And I'm choosing to believe that that was just a happy accident. Now the last thing that I'm going to do before I finish off this spread is I pulled out an old Citrus Twist stamp set and I'm going to stamp a few black leaves in here just to kind of tie in the heaviness of my photo and my journaling that blackness into the rest of this quite light pretty page and then that's going to be it for this spread. Like I've got to say that I'm loving this kit so far. I've proven that I can do like totally different styled layouts with it. And honestly, I can't stop making. So if you haven't seen me put this kit together, I will link the video for you up here. I highly encourage it. I am having so, so much fun. Um, and I'm just loving the way this notebook is turning out so far. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave a couple more videos on screen for you. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.